Hi all, just a quick tutorial on the harvester and the planter but before I start I'd just like to say thank you very much to everybody that's subscribed and has viewed my videos. It helps a great deal and has really made my YouTube channel take off so thank you very very much. Okay so the harvester and the planter. The things that you're looking at now is the two largest farms that you can make. They have upgrades that you can put into the harvester and the planter, which makes it so you can do lots of different sized farms, which is fantastic. Um, and you can see there that I've got the water system working, which is just the, I can't pronounce it, but I'll try, the Accurus Accumulator, um, which doesn't take any power at all. And then you just put a sprinkler on the top, which then just makes sure that you can get your crops watered. Okay, so over here I've set up the crafting table to show you um, the items that you need to be able to craft them. Here's the harvester. But if you got to this stage, you obviously know how to craft them, but I just thought I'd show you just in case you don't. Um, this one's the planter. So you need the copper, the piston, the plastic sheets, flower pot, machine frame, etc. And then the word that I can't pronounce, I don't think, the aqueous accumulator. And these are the items there. Then we move over to the sprinkler, which is another easy one to craft. And then the upgrades. And these are with raw plastic, tin ing ingot here, because obviously it's the tin upgrade and the redstone and the gold nugget. And here are all the different ones that you can have. And they increase, they go from one right up to um, increasing the radius by 11. <coughs> Okay, so the problem that I had was how do I make sure that my seeds go back into my planter? I kept having trouble with that and I still do and tend to have to go back and have a look, which is ridiculous. You need to make sure that you've got it whitelisted. So you always make sure that you've got the triangle here and it's white and it says whitelist. And you just put the seeds in this area here that you want to go back into your planter. Everything else will then go into the chest that you've set up behind your harvester. So let's set one up. So we come over here, I've just set this bit of grass area up. We put our harvester down like so, and that's the wrong way. So we put the harvester down like so. You have to make sure that this is at the front because this is the bit that does the harvesting. You then have to power it. I'm using an energy cell, but you can um, take cables from your home, etc., whichever way you want to do it. So the energy cell is now connected. I just need to configure it to make sure that it's connected to the right bit. That bit. I always get this bit wrong. Oh, lordy. There we go. Okay, so now you can see the harvester's working. We then need to put the planter in. So we're just going to make a hole there. Come down. And we'll place the harvester. You can take it one down with the, harv with the planter, sorry. So you put the planter just there. We then need to get some energy to that too. using the redstone energy conduits. There we go. There we are. That's now connected. But what I do is I tend to then go and put some, you put some water on the top of your planter, like so. And then to make it so you never have to feed your aqueous accumulator, you just put that right on top like so. And then we get the sprinkler there and we place that on top of that and then you'll see that it should start sprinkling, there we go, start sprinkling water out. You don't need to power this at all which is it makes it a great little tool. Okay so now we want to get seeds to go into the planter so we click on the planter, consume stack off, I always put that off and then we put the seeds in. You can decide what you want in there. You can plant them in different areas. I'm just going to do it like this. 
I haven't got an upgrade to show you, so I haven't put one in there, but that's where you put your upgrades. You then put an attach an item duck to it. Make sure that's set to the blue there. So that's intake. Go like this. Make sure you put a chest at the back here. This is the area where everything's going to pop out that you've harvested. Do not want it can this thing. You do not you don't want the item ducts connected to the chest. So we'll just stop that. So that's got to be output. So it needs to be red. And then if you put a servo in here, this bit here into the item duct, you can then whitelist the items that you want to go back into the into the planter so you right click on it then put it doesn't actually consume a seed but you put the items there and then you whitelist it like so and that's it that's how you set up your harvester and your planter there we go they're planting in there in the smallest area because I've not put an upgrade in it and trust the rain to start at the end. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and if you'd like anything in particular seen, a tutorial on anything, then I'd be happy to do it. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Hi all, just a quick tutorial. Fuck it. Deal, and I'm really surprised how well it's taken off. So here we go, these are the first fucking that subscribed and is viewing my videos. God damn it.